Ashes of Horizon Pokemon Team Explanation. Let me just say this. I'm back on this subject about Ash's Pokemon team. In Pokemon Horizon the series. And yet, it still boggles the mind. Now you're wondering, the mind? It boggles it? What part of this it boggles your mind, Chris Blackthorne Harris? Well, that, my friend, <clears throat> is the million dollar question. Once again, check out this dude, Avin Artemis. Ooh, sorry about the image, y'all. <laughs> Go subscribe to his channel. He does impressive things. But, that's not what we're going to talk about. It's talk about the explanation of Ash Ketchum, world champion, new Padilla team. You know what? After all this time, I was wrong. I thought Ash was going to have a starter this time around. But yet again, he doesn't. Why? Doing a new Pokemon opening with Ash. Pokemon Horizons opening. That Mr. Avin Anonymous created. Go check it out. Again. It gives you the point of view of how Ash's team came to be. I mean, come on, man. With the team that he won at the World Tournament, these guys has been through it just about all that he could be through. And, oh, hush. And... He went through the world championship and became champion. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, come on now. With, with him being champion, you thought, man, we about to go to another season. Ash lost. We about to go to another season. No, my friends. It was worth it. Knowing the fact that Ash he can catch him. He became world champion. Ghost, dragon, fighting, steel, fighting, <laughs> dragon water, electric type. <laughs> and then I did another video on, on Ash's next team. But uh, Mr. Bird Keeper Toby kind of... Uh, Beat me to the punch on what Ash's Pokemon team could have been like. <laughs> hey, 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 Bird Keeper told me, guess what? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> These are your favorite Pokemon team. No, it's the final results that's counts, sir. Final results, final results. And then Ash is a lowland champion team. What's that like? Lucario. Pikachu. Surfetch. Incineroar. Lycanroc. That's one. And the new mythical metal Pokemon. Mel Metal. Hey. 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 Awesome team. Yeah. And then his new world team. I mean, Incineroar. <laughs> Who helped him start his momentum in Alola. <laughs> Skeptile, who beat a mythical Pokemon. Excuse me. <laughs> Sir Fetch, who helped Ash win the world championships. Charizard, who got Ash out of many situations. Latios, who helped be a poacher and his number one partner who helped him actually win the world championships out of all of it. But then, Ash's Padilla team. Pikachu. 
Lonkins, Solage, Cloth, Lamb Dingo, and Sin Titan. Let me tell you this now. The possibilities of this team being Ash's team. I mean, come on now. Think about it. Mega Evolution, one. Z Move, two. G Max, three. Now it's time for Ash to learn a new technique, which is number four, and that is terrorization. What can I see? With the terror orb, you, you, you don't know what you're going to do, man. You do not know what you're going to do. And that's saying a lot. You know, that's that's really saying a lot. It like, you what? You know what I'm saying? Forgive my knees. Uh, see, you know, y'all can hear me. I mean, Flam Dingo was perfect because it, it, it could terrorize into two types of terrorizations. Fighting and bird. I mean, flying. Ah, two Fs. No A. Hmm. That's a good grade. In Pokemon form, that is. Because <laughs> with Ash meeting up with Flamingo the first time, he said, oh, this is exciting. But the second time, I gotta catch me one of these Pokemon. Need I say mo? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I just thought of this. One part he met up with them. That's it. I didn't catch him then. Second part he decided to catch one. Then Low Kinks. Low Kinks is like a bug in dark type. Which is a perfect battle strategy against a grass time gym leader who used terrorization. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Smart thinking on Ash's part, Matt, on this one. Then there's where, you know, he met Long Kings as a nimble while battling against a maybe a regular cloth or a, another cloth titan we don't know we do not know and then not only that him catching this cloth titan or cloth pokemon in more ways than one i mean Somebody had did a little bit of artwork where they know that Ashes uh had a, a low kings right then and there. Oh yeah. So yeah, perfect for Ash to be on his team. Yep. I mean, you got Flamingo, Claw, and Long Kings. Three types of Pokemon you can find in the beginning. Hello. Dean Cloth. Perfect against Ino's electric type Pokemon. You see, Ash's team was based on his judgment and skills as a <clears throat> two time champion. You're like, huh? Two-time champion? Yeah. Alola League champion? And world champion. Then Pikachu. With his terrorization, electric terrorization form, could be perfect against Mr. Uh, Wafu's Pokemon. Water Pokemon. Especially his uh, water uh, 
carbonable. Water terrorized carbonable. Water terrorized carbonable because, hey, that's how it works, you know. Then, sewage. Now, here's where I'm about to get nuts. Yeah. Solage. Mm. It's perfect against. The uh, normal gym leader. I forgot his name. Because but it's a fire and ghost type as well. So. <laughs> Yes, yes it is. And not only that, he used Pikachu to catch this uh Soul Edge when it was a candidate. You know? And that says a lot. Then, to top it all off, the best tag team, excuse me, the best tag team that you could ever, and I repeat this again, ever put together to battle against a gym leader who used double battles. I'm talking about, you know, Ryan, Ryan was a gym leader you never understand until you want a rap battle against her. <laughs> But yeah, Long Kings and Cloth. Oh yeah, Dark Type. <laughs> that says a lot. Then, Sir Titan. How do I put this? You're going up against a gym leader whose last Pokemon is a Dragon Type, but terrorized into an Ice Type. Hmm. How will you deal with this? Oh, yeah. It's a Titan. Okay? It got Heavy Slam. Duh, duh, duh. Evident and ominous, let me say this. When that's all good and done, it's a perfect opportunity of a chance to go up against Ferona. No, not Ferona. Juliana, sorry. Juliana. Yeah. Because Juliana, let me tell you something about Juliana. Uh -huh. How you doing? Again, he put that team together <laughs> for her. Yeah. Got a tri-volt. A tinky tank. A uh, armor ledge. A Padillion Tentacruel. And Horidon. Whew. That says a lot. But with that being said, I'm your boy Chris Blackdoor Harris. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like, share, and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this Pokey video. Because we're going to my Pokemon TCG battles. I know shine on. Terrorization.